Cool. Fuck the girls on. Talking to me? Yeah. Don't fucking talk to me. Fuck all that just said, man. That's where the girls go. We're down here all fucking night in the basement. Not to me, dude. Not me. I'm not, I'm not the dude to do that to. <laughs> okay? It's not a joke either. You can't drink this either. I can't drink my own bottle of scotch. It's my bottle now. Why would you have to put that down? Yeah. Dude, why are you even here? Why am I here? What the fuck are you doing here? What do you mean? Nobody oh, invited you. Fighting right now? Yo, nobody wants you here. Nobody invited you here. You're an asshole who's been left back for fucking two years in a row, and you've been a super senior for how long now? You really want me to fuck you up, man? Look, all I'm saying is you dicked me for God knows how many years. I got you. I'm just giving you. To you. What did I ever do to you? I don't even know you, dude. You, you, just, you talk about me though, like you do. You talk about me like you know me. I don't talk about you. I do. I'll just leave you down here by your fucking self. Yeah. Tell the right? girls to come down. Yeah, I will. We'll settle this. I don't know why you came down here in the first place. I'm taking my fucking scotch. Wow. Is that fucking serious? That's your boy? What just happened? That's your fucking boy? I don't know what just happened. That's your boy? You better talk to someone, man. He's gonna get fucked up. I don't know what happened, but... He's about to get fucked up. What happened? What did he do? He's about to get fucked up. What did he do? Nothing. I just don't like him. Just calm down. He's, he's nothing. I just don't like the fucking guy. Like him? It's, it's okay with you. No. I don't fucking like him. He's just bullshit. Here, he's here for now. No, it's fucking bullshit, man. Someone better fucking tell him. I'll talk to him. You know, tell him to fucking get out of here, otherwise something bad's gonna happen. But he has to stay here for a while. No. He has to stay here. Listen, man. You can't make him You know me, right? Yeah. Fucking get this guy out of here. I, I put him in a different room, but he can't leave, you understand? I don't even know why dude tried to shake my hand when we came here. Like, I should've just smacked him right there. You can't do that. No, I can't. I can do whatever the fuck I want. Fuck this shit, I'm gonna go handle it right now. No, you, you can't do that. Yeah, try to stop him right there. Have a little thing on the on the on the chair where he's like holding you back a little bit. Turn that light a little bit towards the stairs, a little to the stairs. Now do a thing right there. It's okay, you're fine, Jay. Uh, Jay, you're fine. Go to the stairs. Try to hold him up, but he's gonna get right by you. Just go up to there. Who's driving him? Um, All right, cool. You go up there. Go up there. No, I like that. Go where you were. All right, just try to stop him. Go up there. He's gonna go up. No, 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 let him get up there first. Like, you're trying to block him, but he, you give him a minute of talk and then be like, get out of my way, and you go past him. Let him try to be peacemaker, man, and you just tolerate it, and you're like, get the fuck up. Well, All right, go, you go up. Just, just start from here. We're just going to take it from the middle of it. Go. You back up to there, yeah. You can't go. Calm down. Yo, I like you. Don't smile. Don't smile. I like you. Don't fucking touch me again. Dude. Calm, calm down. Dude, you can't dude, go. get the fuck. You, you're turning the fucking light off? Get the fuck out of my way, man. So try that again. Yeah, it was good. Turn the light off because it's buzzing anyway. Go. Ready? Go. No qua No smiles. No smile. Go. Ready? Go. Get the fuck out of my way. 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 Get
Calm down. You're smiling, dude. Stop. Stop smiling. Right. You're doing great. You. You're doing great. He's smiling. No smiling. Go. Get the fuck out of my way. No. Yo, you don't even know this fucking. It, it doesn't matter. What do you mean it doesn't matter? It doesn't matter. Dude, get the fuck out of my way. Evan, turn your body a little bit towards me. That's good, like that. So I can see your face. Good. Yo, you don't even know this kid. Why the fuck do you even care? Get the fuck out of my way. I like you. I don't want to hurt you. If you don't get out of my way right now, I'm going to fucking throw you up the steps. You, you know Have you ever been thrown up steps? It can happen. It, it can people happen, but thrown, it's not going to happen right now. People get thrown downstairs. It, it, it can't. You, can, you go downstairs. You can get thrown upstairs. You can't go upstairs. And then you'll come back down. No, and I'll still you go, fucking you go down. Be here you you have two options. Get out of my way. But you have two options right now. You, you, can you, you can sit down. You can sit down. Stop smiling and say, be an adult. Stop being like a kid. That's it. Then that, that, that ends it. That's it. One last line. Just like, st like, dude, we're graduating. Be an adult. Grow up. And he's like, dude, he's like, grow up. He's like, dude, you're the one that needs to grow up. This is fucking, that guy just, I'm going to take care of business. Let's go. Yo, what the fuck? Get out of my way, man. No. I'm going to fucking, why? Why not? Are you a man right now? Okay. You about to leave school right now? You can't, you can't act like this. Can't fight for no reason. Yeah, I can't. Yeah. Disrespect. That's a reason. Disrespect is nothing. Disrespect. Get up, get out of my way. No, no, no. Get the fuck out of my no. way, dude. Good. Very good. Mom? Hi, what's up? <laughs> oh, I'm so stressed out. <laughs> Well, um, listen, I know, let me, the thing is, okay, alright. Hi Disney, how are you, Bella? I love you. Can I talk to uh, mommy, please? Okay, give me a kiss. Mwah. I love you, Bella. Is mommy? Can I speak to mommy, please? Mommy. <sighs> okay. So, anyways, it's like um, I have this opportunity to go to Europe for um, you know, to Europe to become a rock star, and like um. I don't know if I'm making the right choice or not because if I go there, um, I might lose. Yeah, like someone who who plays in a band and you know they have a guitar and stuff like that. So I've been learning. Yeah, like for someone who plays a guitar, you know, like Kiss. Mom. Yo, what up? Good man. Hey, man. Um. So, I know that we haven't talked in a long time, and you're my best friend. And, um, you know, I'm sorry that I haven't been there as much as I wanted to. Um, because I love you very much. We've known each other since high school. Well, you know, moving away and finding myself, music, and you know, all this, it's, uh, it's been crazy. And I want you to know that I'm lost and, um, and I miss you. And I, I, really, I really don't know if I'm making the right choices in my life right now. Um, I feel like I'm on a crossroad where if I go to Europe, um, you know, I won't see any of the people that I honestly love. Um, I'm scared. I'm lonely. I need help. Um, I, don't, I don't think I can survive the pressure of all these expectations that uh, the people here at school have off me. Um, everyone thinks that, oh, he's changed and he's this rock star and yada 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 and so on, but in the midst of it, man, um, I wish I had their, their life. 
you know? I wish that... I wish that I could say, oh, what is tomorrow going to be for me? Um, oh, I could... I got into this program and I'm going to start a new journey. Um, I feel stale. I feel like I've done it all. And, you know, the next thing for me could just be down. Like, and that's scary. You know? No one gets it here. All they see me, they see a celebrity. They don't even see me as a real person anymore. They think that, you know, I'm Drew Harris. And um, yeah, yeah, I'm Drew Harris, but I'm Drew Harris, that same chubby kid. <laughs> Anyways, um, you know, I just thought that I should tell this to you because you know me best. Mom was busy with the girls, so I tried calling her. I don't know why. Um, when you get this message, and if you should decide to call me back, and you know, forgive me for not being a good friend um, I know and uh, uh, I'm, I'm gonna work harder in that department I'm gonna be more punctual in returning your phone calls um, I'm gonna write more often and I'll, I'll email you I'll add you as my friend on Facebook if it's all the marketing bullshit it really wasn't it had nothing to do with me um, okay. All right, all right, man. Um, just you know, give me a ring. All right. Last line. I want you to pause and say, "I gotta get the fuck out of here," and then get up and walk, and that's your exit. I gotta get the fuck out of here. Louder. Sorry. Try again. I gotta get the fuck out of here. Twins. Yeah. That'd be cool. Get some twins. That, that's nice. Still having kids. <sighs> How about some dilemmas? Uh, think of some future dilemmas you may have or that are forming that you're like asking advice about. Okay. Yeah, they can be full thoughts or just uh, sound bites, whatever you want. Things that, you know, might be, you know, might, might be a problem, like anyone's problem in the future or specifically yours. I, I did a big one about my sister. That's good. Day, That's so. good. You know, um, you know, will I ever like, fuck, like, I don't know. I mean, like, will I ever like, like in a total accident, hit a kid on a bike and yeah. fucking like, like literally like, <laughs> yeah, like, like I want to know shit. if I what can live, like, why be tragedy free except for. You know, just be like, I, you know, I'm so scared of like, you know, and then you can take questions back, maybe, like, be like, you know, you know, I don't want to, like, I don't want to know that, and yeah, I mean, it's a mind fuck, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think it's, I think it's really, I think this is a part to get, get kind of manic because it's like, it's like, whoa, you don't want this thing to go away because you want these answers, but really they're probably in your mind. I mean, at least it's what's going to appear to other people. So I, I just think it's, I, I'm, you've been doing great, what I've heard. So but that's the last comment. Just do that, and mm -hmm. we'll see where you go. And you tell me when you're when you think you're done. Okay, okay go for it. <laughs> so I ever like win win like a really big scratch ticket because I play a lot, you know. <sighs> <laughs> what are like some issues that we're gonna go through? Like, what do we do? I ever do I ever do I ever like really piss somebody off and they really hate me? Cause that, that sucks. I don't want to do that. <laughs> do I ever like, is like, there's like a freak accident that I'm involved in? Do I ever overdose? Ever. <laughs> well that's good. <laughs> Confused is a really good word. I am. There's a lot of different choices I could have made, and I, I can make, and I don't... God, it's like a lot on my plate. And I can go in like 50 fucking thousand directions, right? And <laughs> that like 
that's some scary shit. And I'm, and I'm just really hoping that I make the right one. Or the wrong one. And then the right one. <laughs> just somehow end up there. <laughs> so yeah, I'm a, I'm a little scared. I'm a lot scared. Speaking as you, as you're older you, um, you don't look happy like you, you don't look like you're happy that you're graduating. <laughs> I'm happy because I think it's a really, it's a really big thing I did. Huge. A lot of people don't do it. But I, I wonder, like, did I really need a degree? Do I really need a degree to sit in a cube? If that's what I'm going to do for marketing? Do I really, did I really need to spend this much money and get this much in debt? See, yeah, that makes me kind of pissed off, actually. I'm kind of pissed off that this country says that I need to do that. When I could be successful not having a degree. Maybe I made some wrong choices. Maybe I shouldn't have. Maybe I should have dropped out. I don't know. I'm happy that I did the work. I'm unhappy that it costs me four years that I just put in, and it's going to cost me four years plus to pay it back. That's fucked up. I'm unhappy that I'm going to be leaving these people. You know, a lot of them are, are crazy. I like that a lot. We're all kind of all over the place, so it makes you feel f you fit in somewhere. Somewhere and nowhere, and that's cool. And now we're going to be separate. And, and I have to start over again. Again, I have to start over. And that's, that's, that's worrisome. <laughs> that's worrisome. Excellent. Um, she says to you, um, you know, when we were little, do you remember all the things we used to want to be when we grew up? Mm -hmm. And, um, like... <laughs> T tomorrow, you're, you, you know, you, you have the chance to, to, to make a choice that's going to lead to me or something different and uh, be like, you know, so what, what choice are you going to make? And you can say, hey, you know, I don't know, but that would be, I think, a good question. Like, whether you get to me or not depends on the things you choose. Like, what's your, ne what's your, next, like, what's your next move? Like, ask her what, what direction I should I, I think it'd be like, you know, I think her question is going to be like, she, I, she can't. She's like, no one can tell you that. I can't, even me and your future can't tell you that. I am... But a one, a I'm, a, I'm a collection of choices you've made. Can I say that? that I think that's right? something that they'll say, but if you want to say, like, are you a question of mm -hmm. choices, that's changeable. Right. Or it's just oh, like, I fate. It. Okay. like, I, what is this? Is this, is this me no matter what I do? Like, right. I might as well yeah, kill yeah. myself now if I don't right. like it? <laughs> sort of like that. That's all. all right. So I'll go closer and go. So now that I know what I am, we are, we'll be... <laughs> Do I have to worry about anything? Do I have to do anything really special? Is this just the way it's going to be? Like if I like if I choose not to go to that internship, is this is this going to change this? Hmm. So if I if I didn't go and I and I just worked at a cafe for a little while, do you think that I would end up in this in this place? That you're at, because it seems pretty awesome. It, um, yeah. The, the idea of like, um, I am but one like, I'm one destination in, in a series of choices. You could get to an infinite number <sighs> of results. Do you, I'd be like, be like, do you realize the math? Do you understand the math? Mm -hmm. you, does it boggle your mind? Like, do you, do you understand the nature of reality? And maybe you're just like, I, I think, I, no, I guess I don't. Like, yeah. and then like, I, you know, so in other words, she's going to overwhelm you a bit here with like, mm -hmm. be like, you don't have mm -hmm. anything, you don't have a clue. Uh, because no one does, and you really have to start to think about it. And you, you're beginning the biggest guts in the world, this experience, which is, is, is real. No one can see me, but guess what? Does it make me not real? And that's it. So go ahead, let's just riff on that, and let's see what happens. So. So you're saying that I could just, I could, everything I say is, is changing who, who you are right now. Everything's affecting me 5, 10, 20,000 years from now. <laughs> what? That's, that means that every, 
every choice that I've that I'm making or I've made is some it's its own it's its own fucking formula to some to some product and there's like so many different products that I could possibly be are they good they're, is each of them are right I don't want to make the wrong one I don't want to I don't want to put in the wrong variable in there like that's gonna fuck me up you know there's wow that's just like that's not balls. That's wild. That's some wild shit because I don't want to. If I could actually create, if I could create the perfect formula for, for me in the future, if I can do that now, then I'm like really golden, right? I probably, I mean, we could probably do that. I mean, somehow I've created this formula for you, and and it's it's looking pretty pretty good to me, so. If I can just methodically plan out, well, I guess you probably can't because there's there's other things that really do affect you, right? They're like outside of your own choices. Yeah. Uh, wow. So I yeah, got, be like, dude, this is freaking. I can't keep like. Yeah, I'm is, smart, but I can't yeah, like. Yeah, this is a lot. Like I'm 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 pretty smart, but this is like. This is pretty heavy. I'm kind of confused, actually. This is this is a lot. <laughs> hey, let's graduate and then do math again. That's awesome. Uh, wow. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Whew. Well, that, I'm like sweating now. That's crazy. I'm also just really, I'm like worried now, again. Because now I have like even more, I have like options on my options. And then... And then, like, that's just a tiny little thing that makes this huge life that I'm going to live. And is it going to be good or not? Like, that's all up to me? That's, like... Wow, that's, like, really fucked. <laughs> okay. Why, why you're asking the older version? You know, is it is it as hard as it seems, that, like, kids, marriage, just being an adult? Like, is it is it as bad? Is it... You know, and then the, I think the person's going to say, well, it's good and bad. It's, mm -hmm. it's got this, you know, but, you know, kind of like enjoy whatever you're in, you know, like uh -huh. enjoy this period, you know. But I think I, that's a fair quote. Like, what's it really like having that responsibility? Yeah. Because you lose your freedom a couple of years in your adulthood. Right. I tell you, I appreciate it. Cheers, man. <laughs> Great offer from a nonprofit organization in Boston. So oh. I'm looking into it, but hopefully it'll all work out. I don't I don't know what's gonna become about me, but I just want you guys to know I'm happy. I'm complete with you guys here. As long we as you guys it. stay. I have no idea. Dead. My plan. <laughs> I don't know where I want to go. I don't know where my career is going. I just want to live life and have a good time and have a lot of adventures. And I hope that some of you guys are there to share it with me. So. I do want to say that we, this was a long four years and we went through all these courses and hard professors and extensive tests and everything that we did but we did well and I just want to say that once I graduate and after everything is done that our degrees mean nothing because the economy is bad so <laughs> therefore I agree. therefore I'm going to go away and you know open schools in third world countries and just try to help out <laughs> Yes, you are. You're not going to do shit. See, Listen, here man. we go again. Uh. And I just want to just open schools in third world countries to help those unfortunate. Although we spent thousands of dollars on a school here, I'm going to give them free schooling and just, you know, just help out the needy. I want to have kids, pretty kids. <laughs> yeah, I just want them to be successful like mommy. And then I'm going to marry Rich. And that's mine. You guys are my bros, my, my sisters. Mm. I just want to say thank you to everybody that's here. I want to say thank you to Brittany for letting me take all of her notes in class. <laughs> <laughs>
I don't know what the hell I'm doing, bro. <laughs> Don't Brittany, me. you're a good girl. Close your eyes. For letting me take all your notes when I was partying with well, my boy. Well, you owe me, that's all. When I was partying with my bro Dwayne, we was keeping it, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna, I'm, you know, I'm not softening up or anything like that. <laughs> but, you guys have helped me a long way, coming from, you know. Yeah. Like, no sisters, no brothers. Oh, that's crap. definitely looked out for me, and I wanna... So you guys will definitely know what's going on. That's good. Good, good, good luck. Good luck. Good luck. I'm pretty fucked up right now. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers to that. <laughs> Wait, wow. so, I might get a little emotional right now. Just don't look at me the, the wrong way. You know what I'm saying? Don't blow kisses at me. Sorry. Um, I want to say cheers to everybody. Everybody here right now, four years, all you annoying fucking people. <laughs> um, so nice, we got fucked up. Bar fights, getting chased by cops. We love you. Getting chased by old ladies in wheelchairs. <laughs> <laughs> um, fuck. It was cool though. It was. It was a great experience. Nothing like this. It's like just tops it off. Nothing I regret these four years. You know, I'm a Staten Island boy, I say use. You guys want to make fun of me. You, know, <laughs> you guys are doing what you guys can do. But, um, I'm going to miss... Cool. I'm going to I'm gonna miss you all. And good luck to everybody. Hope you all do good. And cheers. 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 Where are you heading next? Cheers. Um, Staten Island? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to travel the world. And, um... Find yourself. And get every disease from A to Z. <laughs> I just get fucked up, you know? Man. Come on, guys. Come on, man. And then my plans are to find plans. Right. Yeah. yeah. You know? yeah. Finding yeah. plans. <laughs> Finding plans. Uh, so, this has been a really good time. The following audiovisual exhibits are pertaining to a special investigation by the FBI and according to Scotland Yard, any information regarding these events should be um, directed towards the New York Field Office of the FBI, Special Agent John Field. Yes, this is uh, Neil Van Orton on Scotland Yard reporting for the BBC. Um, it turns out that um, early preliminary reports have 18 um, recently graduated students from Johnson University found at the uh, site of a graduation party the uh, morning uh, after uh, apparently a, the revelry began uh, the 18 bodies were, far, were found um, extremely in an extremely uh, uh, degraded state uh, beyond recognition burn beyond recognition uh, this inferno lasted um, approximately three and a half hours before firefighters had it under control it was a six alarm fire and um, apparently one of the survivors of the grad party, um, Inferno as it's being called, um, it was, survived the fire only to have lost his life um, concurrently by um, suicide leaping off of a Manhattan skyscraper in the early morning hours following um, the soiree. Uh, a memorial for the 18 families of the grad party, uh, so, uh, of, the, of those lost in the grad party, uh, Inferno has been held. Um, tonight, NBC premiered the um, first episode of the series, Grad Party, which is um, an edited version of the nine hours of footage which was acquired during the party. And um, recent um, web trends have released uh, the statistics that today on Google, uh, Grad Party was the top Google search in all worldwide searches. Uh, a bit of a twist today in the um, ongoing saga of the grad party. It turns out the dental records of some of the dead individuals have um, not correlated to their dental records. It's uncertain now what this means. Uh, a breaking development in the ongoing um, uh, uh, grad party uh, situation. It turns out the dental records were tampered with. Uh, this was the admission of a doctor that was recently uh, charged on an unrelated drug charge. Um, the grad party. Graduation day was held for this small online university called Chomsky University. Uh, on day nine was the graduation party held in the Westchester County of New York State, uh, about 20 minutes outside the city of Manhattan, or the Bell of Manhattan rather. Um, the day after the party, or the morning of, a six alarm fire erupted, and um, it was uh, took approximately uh, three and a half hours to put out the, uh, the raging inferno. 
Um, on day 33, the, uh, uh, FedEx was sent to uh, the Creative Artists Agency, a Hollywood uh, agency, which was sent footage um, from an anonymous source, apparently, uh, which revealed uh, footage of the last hours of the graduates. On June 3rd, 2012, uh, the United Arts Affairs was following some footage from exhibit now to the, um, the agent, uh, I believe it's, uh, his name is Bobby, um, uh, on record here it seems to be uh, Bobby, Robert uh, Bobby Lee of the Creators uh, uh, Agency, who apparently has um, licensed the footage to Comcast NBC Universal um, for broadcast. Um, MSNBC is reporting that one of the victim's father is a South Carolina senator, and he uh, has personally um, asked the uh, FBI to investigate this. It's un uncertain whether uh, arson is at play, although the Westchester Fire Chief has ruled, in fact, that arson is suspected. Uh, but it turns out that the father of one of the victims, a South Carolina senator, an incumbent of thir three terms, um, is um, ordering the investigation. Um, it's uncertain if it's been a suicide pact, a homicide, or a suicide. Uh, the mas national media here in the United States has actually picked up the story um, a couple of days after the New York press has covered it extensively. Um, and the funerals today were held on the 7th of June, uh, and, a, and a memorial service for all the victims was held, uh, where the president of the university, uh, Abraham Chomsky, the brother of the linguist Noam Chomsky, spoke uh, to the families uh, of the victims, as well as the survivors. July 13, 2012, uh, apparently um, the FBI commenced an investigation of the events surrounding the China, um, and uh, have focused their efforts on um, locating the host who had rented the party. Uh, on the 17th of August, uh, the filmmaker was identified and interrogated by the FBI who had sent the package to the uh, Creative Origins Agency. It's unknown and uncertain um, the motive or the uh, causation of the footage acquisition. Um, 29th of July, uh, apparently there was an auction held by uh, Creative Origin Agency for the video rights, the licensing for the national syndication and uh, for the distribution of uh, the admittedly uh, macabre uh, footage of their last hours alive of these uh, young graduates who have who died only a few hours after the footage was filmed. Uh, apparently, NBC, uh, CNN has reported that NBC is giving all profits um, from the uh, proceeds from the advertising. Exhibition of the bad policies to the families of victims. There is a trust fund established for the families of the victims uh, in that phase. The media frenzy really began um, sometime about two weeks after the, uh, the initial uh, uh, funerals. Uh, new footage has been sent, and apparently, in a breaking story, to the um, Washington, D.C. FBI field office. Um, that uh, sheds new light on the origin of the footage sent to the uh, Creative Origin Agency uh, uh, two months earlier. Uh, on the 21st of August, the TV series trailer was released by NBC, which reveals the, uh, some of the uh, secrets of the series. And the truth is new today. Um, inadvertently, uh, intentionally, we are not sure. It, it is very preliminary, but apparently the shit has hit the flat screen, so to speak. Um, because as is, at this moment right now, um, both CAA and Comcast, NBC Universal are in damage control. Um, this is an FBI notice and intention from Scotland Yard and the Federal Bureau of Investigation. Okay. All right. Um, hey, tell, tell that. To what? No, no, no. I, I'm going to be done this and I have to bring their phone up and I'll bring the dog up too. Okay, just you just go to bed if you want. I mean, whatever you want to do. All right. All right. Um, uh, all right uh, okay. Uh, Talladega. Talladega. Okay. I need you to okay, t t take a pen and pencil. All right, and, and do the following things for me. Okay. Mr. Brown's going to be calling me all morning. All right. I want you to put him off. I want you to tell him that my my my, my grandma and my dad, my mother died, my cousins. Tell him the whole the whole family is dead. Just give him whatever excuse. I'm at the hospital. The fact is, is that I, I just I can't talk to him right now. Now I need you to go do some work and get that detective, that private eye fellow, because I need you to do some research and we have to figure out from where those FedExes came. Okay, we got we got to track down that boy who sent me that email saying that he was the filmmaker. You understand what I'm saying? Okay, I need to get a meeting with him today because when I talk to Mr. Brian and he's going to be pissed off to high hell, I got to fix this and I got to speak to him right away. You understand that? Okay. Now, if you understand that, you understand the severity of this situation, 
anyone that calls, you disavow all knowledge. We are not commenting. Except to say that we had no knowledge of any impropriety associated with this production at all. We thought it was honest to God, awful truth. It was the straight scoop. That was the real lives. They had actually perished in those fires. That this was not some publicity, marketing, crazy ass, Blair Witch kind of stunt. Hell, I ain't that sophisticated. It was all just happenstance and hood wiggling and hood winking and the bull over my eyes and all that other shit. So just whatever you have to say, just we didn't do it. You know, that's all I can say to these people. We, we had no knowledge of this. And that's the damn truth. We, you know that because you've been, how long you've been with me now? What? Now, you've been with me, what, seven months? And so you've been with me since that you, in fact, it was two weeks you've been working here that those packages started coming in here. Remember? The, well, we didn't even look at them until the FBI boys got involved. And then when we did look at them, well, we saw the footage, and we saw, and then that went sold to Comcast, and next thing you know, the, the damn numbers went off through the roof, and apparently, well, apparently, this is what happened. It turns out that one of those, uh, one of the one of the kids that died, uh, this is a daddy who was, was a very powerful man, he was a South Carolina senator actually, and he uh, he got those FBI boys involved, and they did the tracking down and talking to everyone. They found out that. Now, a couple of people actually left the party that were, wasn't, wasn't aware that they'd actually put too many bodies, too many. Well, it turns out what they did was they took cadavers and they put them in there. They were the same age and, and racial composition. They put damn clothes on them and the whole nine yards. And then they saw that fire. They actually watched the damn fire from the, the cover of the woods. But it's fast to say that the whole thing was a scam, sham, flim flam to the man. And I don't know why they did it except made me. Sell some advertising on a television show, cause I I certainly know how to tell. I can sell a TV show. So I I sold Snooky uh, for MTV. I you don't need no trick or, or device or gimmick, but I guess these boys and girls did. They thought they did. So anyway, it ain't no here nor there. But at this time, what we need to do is I need to speak with that filmmaker right away, cause it looks like what I found out was these boys and girls are all alive and they're in some island sitting there drinking pina coladas and enjoying the sun um, and laughing all the way to the bank in the Cayman Islands, I guess, because it turns out not only are they getting the money from this TV show deal that I cut for them unknowingly, thinking that I was cutting it for the blind trust established for the families that were remaining, it turns out that they were controlling it the whole time. All even I, even the charities were false. Everything was bullshit. Yeah, basically, I mean, I got my 10%, so, I mean, I was compensated. But the fact is that those millions and millions of dollars were flowing down to the south in one of these little virgin islands where they were all sitting there in a house together where it turns out from my sauce that they had filmed all of that as well. So while it is a bit of a pickle we find ourselves in, if I do work the angles right, I do think that I can get a second season from NBC Universal Comcast. Yeah, so uh, apparently they filmed everything that went down in those islands, and it was one of them, uh, one of them girls that, uh, one of those, uh, the girl that, that did, well, she wasn't getting along with anybody uh, during the, the actual party. And um, you see, the way this whole thing went down is, um, besides the heat I was getting from the FBI because they thought I was behind the whole damn thing. Of course, I had nothing to do with it. All I did was got the footage and I looked at it and then I tried to sell it to Comcast and we made a deal. And that was a sell. I mean, I, I, I think I watched four minutes of that damn footage. I watched that trailer that that, that they put together and, I, and then I sold the damn thing to, to, to Robert Bryan and that was it. I mean, literally, we went duck hunting and I sold them while we were duck hunting. <sighs> Turns out that Right after the whole thing blew up and, you know, it was getting really big in Europe and was getting ready for this uh, American debut, well, there was something leaked to the uh, press. It was a piece of footage, like an, out, an outtake. And, 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 and it was all these, these kids at the party and they were all talking different. And then at the end of this footage, they actually are talking about the word movie comes up, like they're actors or something. They actually talk about making a movie. So, so you put that next to all this footage and you realize that these kids aren't graduating from no college. These kids are actors, professional actors. That's why I was so damn convincing. <laughs> you got some talent, I'll, tell, I'll admit, but, you know, I guess they don't realize it's a felony to take it this far. I mean, fiction is one thing and artistic license is another, but this is an artistic license. Uh, they were speeding and they were going 200 miles per hour and then going into jail. I, 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 I know about law. Maybe it's illegal. Damn it. I don't even know. They got this paranormal activity. Most of the most powerful little film ever made. And, you know, they want you to think it's real. And you know, this whole reality is fit. I, look, I ain't in it for that. I'm in it for the 10%. And I just got one thing to say. There's a one silver lining to all of all this is I get a hold of that filmmaker. 
and I get him to sign for these next seasons. I get the season of them down and all the fractured relationships and strained reliances and survivor-like uh, uh, coincidences and all these uh, things and dramas and conflicts that I'm sure that occurred with some probably very uh, favorable lighting conditions in the uh, southern hemisphere where they, I believe they're located right now. So we got a hold of that. And we also have an option for that third season, which I think would follow the trials. Because obviously there's a mastermind. We just have to identify who the mastermind is. Uh, obviously one of the, 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 the people that are involved. I mean, one of those actors must have been the director, producer, if you will. But I do think I do have a line on the man who I don't think was in the party, who actually controlled the cameras remotely from uh, some type of studio and then did the editing. And he was the one that was sending them to me. I guess he knew I'd buy it. And he knew about my relationship with you. He knew we both came from the same parish in Louisiana, the whole damn thing. So I think these were set up, the whole thing, the whole, the whole nine yards. And look, I got, I got, I got moving boxes surrounded me because I, I'm, you know, I, I'm out of this town. I made enough money off this deal. I can go retire and just on the bayou and eat my crawfish. And I'm happy doing that. And I got my hounds and I'll be fine. But I got to set this right. And the way I set it right is this. I find that filmmaker. I find out what the hell he's doing, what he was thinking. And when I find that filmmaker and find out what the hell he was thinking, I find out if they were really trying to do something wrong here or if it just was something that just got out of control. I don't know yet, but all I know is, and I guess they don't really, really understand the lives and the business and the bottom line that they're going to affect. They also may not realize the millions and millions of dollars we're going to make from all this. But again, there may be some moral and legal issues that uh, we may have to deal with that supersede the uh, profitability uh, uh, perspective. So uh, to summarize, we need to get a hold of that filmmaker. Uh, we need to control the press on this and to explain to them that we had no knowledge of this being fictional. We thought that these uh, young boys and girls were dead and, and in fact, uh, that the whole effort we made to encapsulate the footage of the last party, the, the, the last hours of their young lives, was to give it a, a poetic justice, to try to find in a tragedy some source of, uh, of, of happiness, uh, and also for the surviving families who would be deprived of a youngster who would have been uh, depleting the family of uh, part of their income, because inevitably 80% uh, of these graduates return home without a job and go back to their room that they've occupied since they were two years old. Uh, we, we saved them that expense and supplemented that with the income derived from the rights exposure and exploitation from the monetization of the amortization from the terrestrialization of the anti... Oh, dismiss. I ran out of battery. Okay. All right, um, hey, tell, tell that, sleep there all night, I guess. what, I'm no, 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 I, I'm going to be done this and I have to bring their phone up and I'll bring the dog up too. Oh, okay. okay, just, you just go to bed if you want. I mean, whatever you want to do. All right. all right, um, uh, all right, uh, okay, uh, Talladega, Talladega, okay, I need you to okay, take a pen and pencil, all right, and, and do the following things for me, okay. Mr. Brown's going to be calling me all morning, all right? I want you to put him off. I want you to tell him that my, 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 my grandma and my dad, my mother died, my cousins, tell him the whole, the whole family is dead. Just give him whatever excuse. I'm at the hospital. The fact is, is that I, I just I can't talk to him right now. Now, I need you to go do some work and get that detective, that private eye fellow, because I need you to do some research, and we have to figure out from where those FedExes came. Okay, we got we got to track down that boy who sent me that email saying that he was the filmmaker. You understand what I'm saying? Okay, I need to get a meeting with him today because when I talk to Mr. Brown and he's going to be pissed off to high hell, I got to fix this and I got to speak to him right away. Do you understand that? Okay, now if you understand that, you understand the severity of this situation, anyone that calls, you disavow all knowledge. We are not commenting except to say that we had no knowledge of any impropriety associated with this production at all. We thought it was Ernest to God, awful truth. It was the straight scoop. That was the real lives. They had actually perished in those fires. That this was not some publicity, marketing, crazy ass, Blair Witch kind of stunt. Hell, I ain't that sophisticated. It was all just happenstance and hood wiggling and hood winking and the bull over my eyes and all that other shit. So just whatever you have to say, just we didn't do it. You know, that's all I can say to these people. We, we had no knowledge of this. And that's the damn truth. We, you, you know that because you've been, how long you've been with me now? What? Now, you've been with me, what, seven months? And so you've been with me since that you, in fact, it was two weeks you've been working here that those packages started coming in here. Remember? The, well, we didn't even look at them until the FBI boys got involved. And then when we did look at them, 
well, we saw all that footage, and we saw, and then that went sold to Comcast, and next thing you know, the, the damn numbers went off through the roof. And apparently, this is what happened. Apparently, this is what happened. It turns out that one of those, uh, one of the one of the kids that died, uh, this is a daddy who was a, was a very powerful man. He was a South Carolina senator, actually. And he uh, he got those FBI boys involved, and they did the tracking down and talking to everyone. They found out that now a couple of people actually left the party that were wasn't wasn't aware that they'd actually put too many bodies, too many. Well, it turns out what they did was they took cadavers and they put them in there. They were the same age and, and racial composition. They put damn clothes on them and the whole nine yards. And then they saw that fire. They actually watched the damn fire from the, the cover of the woods. But suffice it to say that the whole thing was a scam, sham, flim flam to the man. And I don't know why they did it except made me sell some advertising on a television show because I, I certainly know how to tell us. I can sell a TV show. So I, I sold Snooky uh, for MTV. I, you don't need no trick or, or device or gimmick, but I guess these boys and girls did. They thought they did. So anyway, it ain't no here nor there. But at this time, what we need to do is I need to speak with that filmmaker right away because it looks like what I found out was these boys and girls are all alive and they're in some island sitting there drinking pina coladas and enjoying the sun um, and laughing all the way to the bank in the Cayman Islands, I guess, because it turns out not only are they getting the money from this TV show deal that I cut for them unknowingly, thinking that I was cutting it for the blind trust established for the families that were remaining, it turns out that they were controlling it the whole time. All even that, even the charities were false. Everything was bullshit. Yeah, basically, I mean, I got my 10%, so, I mean, I was compensated. But the fact is that the, those millions and millions of dollars were flowing down to the south in one of these little Virgin Islands where they were all sitting there in a house together where it turns out, from my sauce, that they had filmed all of that as well. So, while it is a bit of a pickle we find ourselves in, if I do work the angles right, I do think that I can get a second season from NBC Universal Comcast. Yeah, so uh, apparently they filmed everything that went down in those islands, and it was one of them, uh, one of them girls that uh, one of those uh, the girl that, that did well, she wasn't getting along with anybody uh, during the, the actual party. And um, you see the way this whole thing went down is um, besides the heat I was getting from the FBI because they thought I was behind the whole damn thing. Of course, I had nothing to do with it. All I did was got the footage and I looked at it and then I tried to sell it to Comcast and we made a deal. And that was still, I mean, I, I, I think I watched four minutes of that damn footage. I watched that trailer that that, that they put together and, I, and then I sold the damn thing to, to, to Robert Bryan and that was it. I mean, literally, we went duck hunting and I sold them while we were duck hunting. <sighs> Turns out that Right after the whole thing blew up and, you know, it was getting really big in Europe and was getting ready for this uh, American debut. Well, there was something leaked to the uh, press. It was a piece of footage, like an, out, an outtake. And, 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 and it was all these, these kids at the party and they were all talking different. And then at the end of this footage, they actually are talking about the word movie comes up, like they're actors or something. They actually talk about making a movie. So, so you put that next to all this footage and you realize that these kids aren't graduating from no college. These kids are actors, professional actors. That's why I was so damn convincing. <laughs> they got some talent, I'll, tell, I'll admit, but, you know, I guess they don't realize it's a felony to take it this far. I mean, fiction is one thing and artistic license is another, but this is an artistic license. Uh, they were speeding and they were going 200 miles per hour and then going into jail. I, I, they, boy, 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 I know about law. Maybe it's illegal. Damn, I don't even know. They got this paranormal activity, most of the most powerful little film ever made. And, you know, they want you to think it's real and, uh, and this whole reality is fit. I, look, I ain't in it for that. I'm in it for the 10%. And I just got one thing to say. There's a one silver lining to all of all this is I get a hold of that filmmaker. And I get him to sign for these next seasons. I get the season of them down and all the fractured relationships and strained alliances and survivor-like uh, uh, coincidences and all these uh, things and dramas and conflicts that I'm sure that occurred with some probably very uh, favorable lighting conditions in the uh, southern hemisphere where they, I believe they're located right now. So we got a hold of that. And we also have an option for that third season, which I think would follow the trials, because obviously there's a mastermind. We just have to identify who the mastermind is. Well, obviously, one of the the, the 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 people that are involved. I mean, one of those actors must have been the director producer, if you will. But I do think I do have a line on the man who I don't think was in the party, who actually controlled the cameras remotely from uh, some type of studio, and then did the editing, and he was the one that was sending them to me. I guess he knew I'd buy it. 
and he knew about my relationship with you. He knew we both came from the same parish in Louisiana, the whole damn thing. So I think this was set up, the whole thing, the whole, the whole nine yards. And look, I got, I got, I got moving boxes surrounded me because I, I'm, you know, I, I'm out of this town. I made enough money off this deal. I can go retire and just on the bayou and eat my crawfish. And I'm happy doing that. And I got my hounds and I'll be fine. But I got to set this right. And the way I said it right is this. I find that filmmaker. I found out what the hell he's doing, what he was thinking. And when I find that filmmaker and find out what the hell he was thinking, I find out if they were really trying to do something wrong here or if it just was something that just got out of control. I don't know yet, but all I know is, and I guess they don't really, really understand the lives and the business and the bottom line that they're going to affect. They also may not realize the millions and millions of dollars we're going to make from all this. But again, there may be some moral and legal issues that uh, we may have to deal with that supersede the uh, profitability uh, uh, perspective. So uh, to summarize, we need to get a hold of that filmmaker. Uh, we need to control the press on this and to explain to them that we had no knowledge of this being fictional. We thought that these uh, young boys and girls were dead and, and in fact uh, that the whole effort we made to encapsulate the footage of the last party, the, the, the last hours of their young lives, was to give it a, a poetic justice, to try to find in a tragedy some source of, uh, of, of happiness, uh, and also for the surviving families who would be deprived of a youngster who would have been uh, depleting the family of uh, part of their income, because inevitably 80% uh, of these graduates return home without a job and go back to their room that they've occupied since they were two years old. Uh, we will be saved in that expense and supplemented that with the income derived from the rights exposure and exploitation from the monetization of the amortization from the terrestrialization of the anti... Oh, dismiss. I ran out of battery. Yeah, or, or or if you can do both, whatever. You know, you, you know, you know what? Why why I'm pissed? I have no bond with with nobody at at, at that party. I wanted to share that joy and to have stories, meaningful stories. There is no bond. Thank you, God. For answering my prayers. Yes, I prayed for this. I wanted to be at the fucking top so bad. But I'm at the top. I've reached the top. Yes, I'm at the top. But I didn't want to lose my friends. I didn't want to lose her. It's lonely here. I'm, I'm sad. I miss it, God. I missed out. If I can just go back in time, and if I can, if I can just do it all over again, and to be with my friends, and to, to, to feel what they felt, nobody, no, no one knows me anymore. They don't know me. All those years I've missed out in college, just chasing this dream. What? But I'm lonely. And now I'm here. I don't know where else to go. God. And action. She's crying. It, or look at least you're, like your shoulders are moving and they're crying. I'm so sorry. I don't know what to say. Yeah. You know, it was all so sudden. I just. You can turn around now. You were talking about meeting my parents like an hour ago. Like what? It's just a combination of things. I. I had way too much to drink. She, so, she, she came after me. I, I was thrown off guard. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know how to handle the situation. Turn around, Jay. 
I can't. I can't even look at you anymore. What? I can't even. I'm sorry. Come on. We've had four years. This is one slip up. It's. It's just. I think I had something earlier. There's something in my drink. Is. There's. I'm so sorry. I just. Are you, are you serious? There's something in your drink. Babe, come on, we, four years, this is one One since hour, I'm... one hour ago, you were sitting there telling me about how, what we're doing, like, next year, and meeting my parents, <sighs> and then, 20 minutes later. What do you... I don't know what happened, I... I feel awful, you can't even feel any more horrible than I already am, I'm... Jay, say you arranged this. You had her come here. You had to set up from the beginning. Oh, I did. No, no, you're accusing him. Oh. You're like you, you. I know why she's here. You had it set up. This was all planned. You're going crazy. You can't know what to think. Um. Wait. What was it set up? Her. Yeah, her kind of like all you guys were invited separately. All not everyone. You guys don't all know each other. You have a couple, couple, couples, couples, couples. It's something I'm handling in the voiceover. But you guys are all not connected. So every, she, they're surprised when they meet. So okay. you're like, you know, you had her, you, did you arrange for her to have her here? Just to make me feel comfortable? Did you arrange to have her here to make me uncomfortable? No, don't say that. Why yeah, do that? I mean, that's, how that's the fuck stupid. did that just happen? How did she just I end mean, up this, here? This is the first time this has ever happened. We all got those letters. You how can that, I believe that? How can I believe that that's the first time? She did not say, she said that you guys have been seeing each other for a year. Like, She's how can crazy. you... She, Obviously, she's all out. She's out of her she head. She said that you guys have been dating for a year. year. We haven't been. Nothing has happened. She's crazy. She said that you were gonna dump me tonight. She's full of shit. That's. You know that wouldn't happen. Like I'm just gonna throw four, four years away like I that. Know, Are you serious? I don't know. What, I can believe. I can't believe anything you're telling me. I don't know if I should believe. I've known her since middle school. How can I you just think that all of a sudden out of nowhere she'd be lying years. to me? We've been best friends, we've been going out for four years, we've been together, we've been an uh, item. I can't. I can't do this. I can't do this. Are you ending this? It wasn't going to work from the beginning. It. No, because I'm not Indian. That's what we're getting back to. It's not that. It's not just that. It's everything. I, how can I forgive this now? How can I forgive you doing that? It, with me downstairs? Like, do you really have that little respect for me that I'm sitting there downstairs, like, thinking in my head, talking to Naveen about how I'm going to tell my parents about you, and, like, fighting with my parents all the time so that you can go upstairs and fuck another girl when I'm downstairs? That's not what happened, you know it. This... What do you mean? That's exactly what happened. She came on to me, all we did was make out, we... We didn't fuck at all. I, it was, I don't know what the hell happened there. I don't even know what else to say. I can't anymore. 30 seconds to wrap up. I can't. I love you, I love you so much, but I can't. So this anymore. is it? Alright, whatever for you.